Is it safe to come outside now? Is it safe? Welcome back to the I Don't Care What You Think Network. I <sighs> hope everybody feeling good. But today, 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 or tonight, or this evening, whenever you're watching this, um, I want to give my honest review on Tyler the Creator's new album, Cornucopia, as you can see right here. Hope I'm pointing in the right direction. So, so I became a Tyler fan long, long, long time ago. I've listened to every single Tyler album ever made. I listened to every single Tyler album ever created. I'm not going to say I listened to every Tyler song, but I've listened to every piece of body of work he ever did. So I want to give y'all my full detailed review of Cornucopia. That's not, hopefully you agree and hopefully you don't agree because with Tyler, it's tricky. Tyler is an artist we would like to say make art and art can be interpreted by whoever's the one viewing the art. So he's the artiste. He made the album with this thought in mind. But that doesn't change the fact that he may have made the album with this in mind, but he also made the album because it's art. So it's for you to interpret the art however you want to interpret If that means calling it ass, that means you think it's ass. If that means calling it fantastic, that means you think it's fantastic. But nonetheless, it's still art at the end of the day. So... Here's the album. We have the track list pulled up, and we're gonna go. We're, we're not. We're not gonna go song for song, but we're just gonna go through the initial thoughts. So, Cornucopia is Tyler's latest album, and what I like to call the Tyler the Creator story, like how you got Wes Craven, how you got all of his movies. You got John Carpenter, you got all of his movies, you got the Conjuring universe, you got the Power universe for people who watch Power. This is the Tyler the Creator universe. And the Tyler the Creator universe is like a combination to me of American Horror Story and a toss into a dark romantic movie. Like, like how, how can I explain it? Like, where the serial killer is doing this out of love, but it's wrong. But Tyler has a weird way of making you fall in love and understand what some might call the villain. If you if 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 you if you get what I'm trying to say, like Tyler has a way of going. Yo, I stalk her. I stalk her for hours until this and this and this. And then you go, well, that that's not cool. But then at the same time, you go, he's so in love with that girl, he's stalking her. You see what I mean? Like he has a he has that he he knows how to balance that extremely weird window. Where it's kinda like kinda like in the Avengers, like we didn't like that Thanos wanted to do that, but we understood why Thanos wanted to do that. If you get what I'm saying, like, 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 we truly, it's like, come on, yo, you want to make the world more balanced. I understand it. You're not wrong for it. You just going about it with like blunt force trauma. Like, yo, we just going to do this and y'all just going to have to deal with it because this is how life is going to go. And that's not fair. That's not right. But nonetheless, the track list for Cornucopia is St. Chroma, Ratata, Noid, Darling I, Hey, Hey Jane, I Killed You, Judge Judy, as you can see by being highlighted green, what I was just bumping, uh, Sticky, Take Your Mask Off, Tomorrow, Thought I Was Dead, Like Him. And the last track, 
is balloons and I hope you find your way. Right? So my take from this, and yes, Tyler, if you're reading this, I mean, if you're watching this, I have listened to your album. I've probably, I've probably had this on the betterment of 15 times. Like, I, I am a music consumer. Like, some artists, they don't deserve the multiple listens back to back to back to back to back, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, some people, music is the surface level. You get it, it's done, it's good, you move on. But then you have those first listen, you listening as a fan. Second listen, you're listening to understand. And then if they're one of those artists who you know do art, you know him, Kendrick, Cole, you know, them real artsy guys, outcasts, you know, them. You know you got to listen to it a couple of times before you fully understand the story behind Cornucopia or how he put it together. So he said, excuse me, he said a lot of this stuff was life, life lessons that his mother taught him. And you hear her talking throughout the album and giving him little audio bits real quick, and then he go into the next song. Me, myself, it's not my favorite Tyler album, but it is, for what Tyler the Creator is, it's one of the best Tyler albums, because I rank Tyler two ways. It's the Tyler before Cherry Bomb, and it's the Tyler after Cherry Bomb. There are two different Tyler the Creators from two different generations. So you got some fans who only want that Tyler before Cherry Bomb. Then you have some fans who only want that Tyler after Cherry Bomb. But those are two different men and two different fathoms and two different walks of life. And I feel like this Tyler and Chronocopia has found his way, kind of like the old Tyler and Wolf found his way. Once Tyler reached Wolf, it was like a, I can't go no further. I've, I've, I've maxed out. I've maxed out this. And now I'm going into this. And I feel like this Tyler is more broader he talks more about his sexuality. He talks more about living life. He talks more about struggling. And I felt like he did a lot of that. Like, And it's not struggling in the sense of people always think struggling in the sense of you ain't grow up poor or you ain't grow up in the hood. You grow up with money. Your mama always had money. This and this and this and this and this. That and that and that and that and that. That's not what I mean by struggling. The hardest struggle you can do is not struggling with where you're from or how authentic you is. The hardest struggle you can possibly do is within. And whether it's the truth or whether it's musically, it's something that he deals with. The struggle and the fight within. Yo, I'm different. I'm weird. I'm quirky. But that don't mean that don't mean I I should be treated differently. I should still be treated like you. Like, like, all right, I might, I might, I might be bisexual. That don't mean treat me different. I might be gay. That don't mean treat me different. I might have the 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 big ears and the fat nose. That don't mean look at me any differently. But with this Tyler album, I felt like he used the lessons he learned from his mom and tied that in with him understanding. Yo, Tyler, it's okay to brag. It's okay to be you. Like, 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 like on this album, he made points that he's the second, uh, he, he's the second biggest artist out the city after Kenny, and that's a fact. I'm not a big numbers guy, but a lot of y'all out there argue numbers. So let's argue numbers. Last, 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 last three albums was Grammy nominated. He won two. Two hundred and ninety seven thousand copies first week. Other than Kendrick, 
who's moving out like that. And I've seen it from A to Z, Z to A. One to ten, ten to one. This 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 album is nothing short of magnificent. Like nothing noth- nothing short of magnificent. Darling Ah, beautiful, Noid. When this this is this is this is this is this is what hurts me with singles. When you're one of those artists, it is so hard to do singles when you know your album is conceptually themed. Like, like these songs going to tie to each other in a way no one is expecting. So when Noid first came out, I was like, hmm, it's cool. I had friends. I had my wife and them tell me, like, I don't know. I don't know about it. And I told them, like, yo, don't even waste your time with the single. Wait till the album drop. And you see where he going with this, and you will understand a single more. Like, you will fully understand a single more when you hear it in album concept form. They said, all right. From St. Chroma to, to, to Ratata, when he ends Ratata and he be like, um, you niggas really bums and you niggas really weird. You niggas really bums. I think that's what he's saying. I don't, excuse me if I don't know it word for word. When he goes into this, oh my God. Just the whole state of paranoia. Like, Bro, I'm not scared. I'm paranoid. Like, you don't know what it's like. Like, you walking up to me with your phone out, like, oh, my God, Tyler, can I get a picture? That could easily just be a gun. That's why in the video you see the shift from camera to gun. Or when he was like, I mean, I feel somebody's watching. I can see it in my shadow. Where it was like, yo, I even think my shadow was up to something, and it's my shadow. Famous people deal with this all the time. All the time, and it's a conversation people don't want to talk about. People say shit like, you famous, what you complaining for? Yo, famous people are normal people. They just have fans. People move around here and act like famous people aren't famous people. Famous people are famous people, but they're humans. They're humans. I have a cousin that's in the NFL. I ain't going to say his name. I have a cousin that's in the NFL, and every time he comes around the family, he tells me all the time, yo, I still hang out with you and love being around you because you don't look at me as somebody that's famous, yo. You look at me as your little cousin because I'm older than him. He'd be like, yo, you still treat me like I ain't got a dollar in my pocket. You still talk to me like... I'm not this. You still talk to me like 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 we talked growing up. You never change. You never looked at me like, hey, yo, look at my little cousin. He the walking lick. Look at this boy. Look at this money. He said, yo, you come in here and you show me the same. Like, that's all Tyler wants. And you would be paranoid too if you was famous and had to deal with people not understanding the word no. On one of Tyler's older albums, he said, I miss the days when I could just eat waffles and go skate on a regular Saturday. Now I can't leave my house without people going psychotically crazy because I'm at Starbucks getting a cappuccino. He touches on that in this, on this, on, on this album, on that song. The, the dar- darling eye is beautiful. Hey Jane, this 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 right here. Hey Jane, I killed you, Judge Judy. This this no, not even this three. This four. Darling, darling I, Hey Jane, I killed you and Judge Judy. This storyline on how these songs tie together and don't tie together is beautiful because this song he's talking about falling in love. And his mom like, yo, don't be telling these bitches you love them and you really don't. Then this song is the conversation he had with Jane. 
breaking it down to us, you know, I mean, we ain't ready to have kids. We ain't ready to be a family. Beautiful storytelling from both ends. It brings you into the world of realism. You understand. You understand how that shit feels. You know, for 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 my men out here, I'm strict, strictly to the men out here. You know what it's like to really, really like a girl, damn near love her, but you just not ready for marriage, or you just not ready to have a child. And then that situation occurs, and now you have to pick: Do you want to be selfish? Or do you want to get out there, be a man, as they say, stand on your own too, and get it done? That's the balance. Hey, Jane, y'all understand that. And to my women out there, y'all understand exactly what he's saying when he's talking from her perspective. Y'all know exactly what that man mean. When he, when he like, yo, I can't. I'm scared. I don't really want to do it, but I got to do it. And I'm happy that I'm having the child with you and not somebody else because I know you're a good guy, but I'm just as vulnerable and as scared as you. This song is beautiful. I Killed You, this is one of those records that's up for interpretation. See what I mean by music is art? This is not one of those cut and dry songs like Hey Jane. This song is more of what do you think he's talking about? Because, hey, Jane, they're talking about not having a child. Even though they want to have a child, they're going to have the abortion. Or they may have the abortion. Tyler never tells you if they had the abortion. But I killed you can mean that's up to you to figure that out. This right here. Judge Judy. Yes, I deep side on the microphone. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful record. It's a beautiful record. It's a beautiful record. And if you're a fan of Tyler the Creator and you've been around for a lot of Tyler's music, you understand how him saying, I won't judge you, means so much. Because he's been getting judged his whole personal life. So when he's just breaking it down, how he met her, I mean, girl, I love her. Mm. I ain't going to judge you. Let me hit first night, no condom on. Hey, let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. But Judge Judy... May be the best song in Tyler's discography. It it just may be like everything from the instrumentals, the chord, the 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 chord, um, the 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 keys, the guitar, the piano, the vocals aren't bad. The 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 hook. What the song is about. Judge Judy is a beautiful record. Here's a tricky one. Sticky is tricky. Sticky, sticky, sticky is tricky. Because at the same time, that's what put eyeballs on him, who on the regular would not listen to him. You know, Wayne, Glorilla, Sexy Red. That fan base kind of going to go run over there. And I like how he didn't let them overpower the record. So you don't know how long their verses truly are. He cut them all at a substantial amount. Like, huh, take this 10, 15 seconds. It didn't, it didn't overpower the record. He used glow and sexy. I don't know if any of y'all out there or how many of y'all out there seen Stomp the Yard. And how when they did the trailer and stomped the yard, they they was putting Chris Brown in every trailer. And then you watch the movie and Chris Brown dies in the first five minutes. That's what that is to me. Like, yo, you see Sexy Red, you see Glow Willie, you see Lil Wayne. You're like, oh, let me go to that. And if you combine all the verses, I don't even think it's 30 seconds. But it did what it had to do 
And that's all we can ask for. Another one, take your mask off. Oh. Uh, You people got to learn, no matter how much you put a mask on or how who you truly are, the true you is still under that mask. Take it off. Take it off. How you truly feel is still under that mask. Take it off. I got I to gotta give Tyler... Oh, my God. The, intro, the, 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 the deep retrospective. Um, 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 the deep... The deep um, the word, I'm losing the word right now, but but introspective. My bad. The 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 looking in the mirror he does on this album is just magnificent, you know. And you rarely, rarely, it's not a lot of artists who pick themselves apart, especially in hip hop. There's not a lot of artists who pick themselves apart. DMX was one. I'm not the biggest DMX fan, but he picked himself apart. Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, they pick themselves apart. Like, yo, I'm not I'm not the perfect man. You're not the perfect man either. Admit that shit to yourself that you could do better. Tomorrow is a great one. Tomorrow was really, really good, so y'all y'all should y'all should T tomorrow is a really good record. I'm not going to go too deep. I don't want this video to be that damn long. But I do want y'all to be here with me. But tomorrow is a really good record. Thought I was dead. Now listen to me. When he dropped this teaser, with just the part when he be like, I don't want to be down. I don't want to be found. I don't want to be down. When that's the only thing he was doing... The schoolboy Q part made me so happy. I am a huge. I am a huge schoolboy Q fan. And I am a huge Tyler the Creator fan. Or Tyler the Creature. <laughs> I love when these two collaborate. Every time they collaborate. On every single record they ever done together. Except for the record that they did on Cherry Bomb. I'm not the biggest fan or so so we going to get we going to say that for another video. This song is amazing too. Like him Listen to me. I heard this song. This is, I am a man who had his father in his life. I am I am a man who idolizes his dad. No one comes before my dad. That's my dad. To hear this song start with his mother apologizing for taking accountability that she's the reason his dad is not in his life. It'll make you shed a real tear. Because if you rock with Tyler and you understand Tyler, you've heard every diss, line, song, reference he's ever made to his father. You Nigerian fuck, I'm left with this face you hear. You understand how much this song was a full circle moment in the career and life of Tyler, the creator. Out of all these songs on this album, these could be characters he just made up. None of this could really matter. All of this could just be one big story, and it probably touches you because it's real. That's why you feel it. I feel like this song is truly about him. And the ones that are truly about him are all the ones that his mother starts the song off on. So it's like, yo, this song is interpreted however you want to take it. But this song, this is personal to me. 
Feel like you chasing the ghost. Feel like you chasing the ghost. Then that go into balloon. And then I hope you find your way. I'm going to have to give this Tyler album. A nine. I'm also. We're going to get to the rest of Tyler catalog later. But as of right now, this is the second highest rated album I gave him. But I might have to give this a nine out of ten. I love all 14 records. I'm not going to say love. I like all 14 records. I love some of them. And I'm. Head over hills for some of them, but Cornucopia is a much is a must listen, a must a must sit, a much close your eyes, just envision it. Go on this emotional roller coaster of anger, fun, happy, laughing, sad, all levels of emotion. All this 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 like listening to Inside Out. Tyler goes through every form of emotion you could possibly do on this album. I want to thank him, and I hope to see y'all at the North New Jersey show for Cornucopia. Just may see your boy there. This is Doughboy, and be on the lookout, because I will be reviewing Tyler's entire discography. So more videos will be coming soon. Click that share, that like button. It helps me in the algorithm. And subscribe. Doughboy out. I sip, I roll my weed up. Niggas trip, but they can't see us. Big plays when I'm on top now. I got this, kick your feet up. Watch how I double up now. It's gonna cost tennis.